Then came Mrs Penguin to them, saw they hadn't many peas, said, I've brought a bowl for shelling, you must gather more than these. Down sat Gwen without a murmur, with the bowl upon her knee. What, and shell them? Pen exploded. This is far too much for me. Off he darted through the pea sticks, saying, I am going out. Gwen was nervous, tried to stop him. Suddenly, he gave a shout. Crawling through the thorns and branches, Pen had come into the lane, saw the shining motorcycle. Come on, Gwen, he called again. Then he looked all around the cycle, clean and gleaming in the sun, played about with knobs and levers, thought a a joyride would be fun. Now came Gwen. And Pen, excited, said, This is a lucky find. Then he clambered on the saddle. Gwen, uncertain, climbed behind. Pen said, What about a joyride? I can't drive, said Gwen. Can you? Why, of course, Pen answered boldly, pulled some knob, and off they flew. Flashing by the trees and hedges. Stop, wailed Gwen. I wish I could, Pen replied, for in the roadway, flapping hard, the owner stood. But the swerving, speeding cycle with its naughty penguin load quickly stopped his angry flapping, knocked him backwards on the road. Pen and Gwen were sadly frightened, though they were not hurt at all. But the raging owner shook them. He had not enjoyed his fall. Then came Mrs Penguin to him, said how sorry were the pair. So the owner quite forgave them, left them to their mother's care. Mother's care? But Mrs Penguin proved a mother hard to please. Pen and Gwen were soundly scolded, then sent back to pick the peas.